guys, what is going on? And today we're going to be talking about kind of like hackers and stuff. I kind of got an idea from somebody else I saw in a group chat, or well, that's in Haze, it happened to them, sort of. So first of all, let, let's talk about uh, Steam. So there's a lot of things, like stuff like Steam, that you can get two-factor authentication on, and stuff like that. You definitely want to get that, because it, it's, it's just good. Like, I was talking, I think Mohab said this. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Moab. Uh, he said, I think it basically, like, two-factor authentication basically shuts down any hackers to, like, try and hack because they don't have your phone number most of the time. So they can't, like, or they don't have your phone at all or anything. So basically what two-factor authentication does is, like, say, for example, somebody take, like, try get your Steam password and username, and they try and log in. Without two-factor authentication, they could. But with it, they would need a code that uh, gets sent to you on your phone with your phone, like that you put your phone number in. So they can't uh, do anything about it, and they can't change that, like, like uh, they can't change the phone number without the code that you get. So it's it's pretty uh, good, and like I, and then there's they have that on Twitter too. So I definitely recommend getting that for everything that you have, like everything that has it. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's starting to have it now, like, I mean, you can even get, like, password things that, uh, that have that. And speaking of passwords, you want to make your passwords, like, random letters and stuff, like, you basically just don't, don't type the Bible, but just, like, write it, like, a long paragraph or something, and then put it into your thing and save it somewhere, because nobody's gonna really guess that, and like, if you put a bunch of numbers and symbols and stuff, like, it would require, like, a pretty good hacker to hack all that stuff. Instead of like some kid that may, may be at your school and know what your password is like and especially don't share your password like some people are stupid and just share the password and one thing Sort of speaking of about that like don't share your passwords uh, If you have like a phone and it's one of the newer ones with like a thumbprint scanner or something like that definitely use that because Nobody can look over your shoulder and figure out what your password is if it's just your thumb like they can't figure that out or if like if you don't have that still put in a password just keep it secret when you type it in or just act like you type it in or something random i don't know but just make sure your stuff's safe i don't know just make sure your stuff's safe i'm kind of speaking about that with your webcams too uh i think mohab sort of talked about well not this but this brought up this subject for me like put a cover or something over your webcam in my opinion definitely do that like it's just creepy if you don't like people could hack into it or something like you never know they could so I, my mine came with the cover i just don't use my webcam because it doesn't have pretty good like it doesn't have that good of quality so i don't use it but definitely do something like that like even with macbooks or something like a laptop definitely put something on that too like if you don't use the webcam at all but, or just put like a cover all over your laptop uh webcam where you can flip it up and down but there, there's so much stuff like there's so many jobs now and like the security uh internet security stuff you, you could p get a lot of money from it because people like there's so much stuff that you could hack like they could hack like your google home or something like control like you open your garage or something for example and they could just hack into your like entire house like you never know like it, there's just possibilities like uh, people could hack like, businesses are big right now, so if you're, like, older than me or something like that, like, 20 or 30, uh, well, probably, like, 20s, then definitely try and get into this field. Like, maybe tabs, you could do this, too, because uh, you're pretty good with computers. You should get, you guys should look into this if you haven't already, because this, this field's really good. Like, internet stuff and, like, safety like this is really good right now, like, in my last video, I talked about like internet stuff, like how the internet is growing. That's kind of backing up to this because internet's growing, so you need this stuff. Like you need safe to be safe on it. Like you can't, like say you make a gun, but you don't know how to like put a safety on it. You could accidentally shoot yourself. Like that's what the old people like me. Like when they first created guns, they didn't know how to like put a safety on it or anything, so they would accidentally shoot people. So like you just gotta be safe with this new stuff. Like I'm telling you. And, like, one of my friends from a while ago when I used to play Minecraft, their Skype account got hacked. And then it would send, like, all their, all, 
uh, their contacts a link. And so like, I, I didn't know any better at the time, so I clicked the link and it downloaded something. I was like, hey, get that off my computer. But my uh, malware or whatever system detected it and said, um, virus detected and like it just immediately stopped. It was like, take that, suck it up. Because you, you need to have that stuff installed too. Like you need to have the malware stuff installed. That that's a number one. Not China. Not not China number one. That's number one now. But that's probably going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully, you guys learned something. If you want me to help you with any of this stuff or me to go more in depth, hit me up on Twitter or in the comments down below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.